Today we're going to be talking about parallel lines and transversals. We will be able to identify angle pair relationships and use them to solve problems involving parallel lines cut by a transversal. So our first postulate, which in math postulate just basically means rule. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the corresponding angles are congruent. So they're the same measure. So given that line J is parallel to line M, and we're going to mark that by little triangles on them, that proves, that shows, gives us a visual marking that they are parallel. Angle 3 and angle 7 since they are corresponding, we'll have the same measure. So if angle th the measure of angle 3 is 120 degrees, the measure of angle 7 is 140 degrees. Our next rule is for alternate interior or alternate exteriors. If we have a parallel line cut by a transversal, both the alternate interior and the alternate exterior angles are also congruent. So if a line J is parallel to line M, so I'm going to mark that with my triangle again, the measure of angle 4 and the measure of angle 5. Those are alternating sides of the transversal and their interiors, so we know they're going to be congruent. So if the measure of angle 4 is 30 degrees, then the measure of angle 5 is 30 degrees. Again, those are parallel. Measure of angle 2 and the measure of angle 7. Those are alternate exteriors, so again, they're going to be congruent. The measure of angle 2 is 120 degrees. The measure of angle 7 will be 120 degrees. Our next rule deals with corresponding alternate interior and alternate exterior. If we know those are congruent, then that will prove the lines are parallel. So this is going backwards. That's why it says converse. So if angle 1 is congruent to angle 5, then we know line J is parallel to line M because angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angles. Consecutive interior angles, these are a little bit different. Consecutive interior angles are supplementary. So remember that means that they add up to 180 degrees. So let's look at this example. If the measure of angle 6 is 140 and the measure of angle 4, we know that 140 degrees plus the measure of angle 4 has to equal 180 degrees. If I subtract 140 degrees, I know that the measure of angle 4 is 40 degrees. We can also use the converse. If we know they're supplementary, then that proves that the lines are parallel. So if angle 3 plus angle 5 equals 180, then line J is parallel to line M. What if some variables are involved? We have this angle with 120 degrees and this angle with 3x degrees. Those are on the same side of the transversal and they're next to each other. So no, we know that these are consecutive interior angles, and we just said that those are supplementary. 
so we know that the two angles have to add up to equal 180 degrees. So 120 plus 3x equals 180. Now we solve. Subtract 120 on both sides. 3x equals 60. So we divide both sides by 3. And x equals 20. And we did that by using that consecutive interior angles are supplementary. Compare and contrast the sizes of the angle pairs, and I'll see you in class.